frustrating was it to get Ole Miss in so many third down situations and then have the trouble stopping you? Uh, uh, that's very frustrating. Just something we got to continue to get better at. Uh, we play hard, physical, smart. You got to contain the quarterback. That's a good player, by the way. Really, you had the uh, first interception of the year, um, Matt Corral's first in a couple of years. Describe kind of go through that play and what did it feel like to get that and kind of start to change a little bit of that momentum in the second half? Um, it felt great. Uh, personally, I felt like my team, we needed a break. Uh, we needed something to go our way to change the momentum of the game, and I was willing to do that by any chance, but I couldn't have done it without the other 10 guys on the field. Uh, so credit to those guys. Eric, and then here. What were some of those adjustments as the game went on that, that you guys made as a defense to try to contain that crowd in the ground game? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't call it defense, but uh, we may just, just try to, to keep a couple more in the box. Um, Try to play a little bit more man coverage, I guess, and, and just we know it was, he was going to run the ball, so that was just the focus trying to con contain him, find a way. Yeah. Uh, we'll go Adam, Vince, Jimmy. This is sort of a crazy scene there with all the debris and all that. How did you guys react to just sitting and watching that, and how did you kind of restart after that? Uh, I'm still locked in. It was time on the clock. Uh, we only could control, we could control. So, Trevor, how, how do you sort of summarize the highs and lows of the atmosphere today? I mean, Checker kneeling and sold out, and then, you know, ugly scene at the end. How do you kind of summarize all that? Uh, it's one to remember for sure. Uh, I don't know, man. Just uh, We love our fans. Maybe it was select few uh, did the little stuff at the end, but the majority of our fans came with sort of support as always. Uh, we appreciate that. Was Corral a better runner than you thought he would be? Um, nah, he, he, we always we all knew he was a great player coming in. Uh, that's that was no surprise. So what's the key to trying to contain the guy? That's just something that <laughs> we just got to work on uh, every day. But like I said, that was the last game. We focus on next. Talk about being focused on the next game. The next guy is Bryce Sean, who's just as equipped at, at running the ball. Um, is there anything different after this game that you guys think you might be able to do versus Bryce? Of course, yeah. We're gonna go in and watch the tape, watch the film on the on the uh, last game we just had, and, and put some adjustments together. And, and of course, we're gonna try to contain him every way possible. Any more? Yeah. So, on, uh, obviously, Hendon Hooker goes down there at the end. I mean, he's meant so much to you guys. What, what's kind of going through your mind about Hendon? Uh, just praying that he'll be all right. Uh, he's a tough guy for sure, for sure. So I'm not really worried. It sucks, but we all love him. We're gonna keep loving him, and we're just praying for him for a speedy recovery. Patrick and Jimmy, Trevon, you, you guys said the defense played 101 snaps. I don't imagine you probably played all of them. Does it feel like you played that much? Uh, not yet, but tomorrow I'm definitely gonna feel it. <laughs> I mean, is that just crazy yet? with the tempo and the amount of plays? I mean, you guys were on the field quite a bit in the first yeah, half. Yeah, yeah, they they go pretty fast, man. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to feel it all tomorrow, but that's just something we knew we, we knew what was happening. We knew that was coming in. Uh, we knew they wanted to go fast and tempo. Uh, that's something that we used to. Our offense does it. Uh, that's something we practice. So it wasn't no surprise, uh, but, yeah, we are going to feel it tomorrow. Which Jimmy and then finish with Austin. I was going to ask you about that. So you do practice against it, but is it still a little bit different when you get in a game and have to face it at that kind of speed? Um, not really, man. It, it, it all the same, uh, pretty much. Just they just try to speed it up to have defense eyes bad and, and make mistakes. But uh, for the most part, it's pretty much the same. Okay, well, kind of piggybacking what Patrick was talking about, 102 snaps. You give up 31. Really, one of the touchdowns was 11 yard drop after a punt. I mean, just how proud are you? Just the kind of the effort of the D. It feels like you guys are. You know, continuing to play pretty well. Uh, that's something we pride ourselves in, man. Uh, playing hard, playing fast, playing physical. Uh, we know what we got on defense. We know the talent we got, um, and that's just something that we just gotta just gotta keep getting better at. We know what we can do, and we're just gonna keep improving. Right, that'll be it for Trayvon. We'll take questions for Cedric. Patrick, you get the first one. Thank y'all. Cedric, I'm say that that second to last play where you. Got things on the ball. Do you think you had it when you went up for it? Um, 
you know, I just, you know, it's obviously a shot play. Uh, you know, I try to get to the ball, but, uh, you know, unfortunately just fell a little short. So, uh, but no, like I said, I put in effort and just fell short. Did you have yeah. an angle on, on, on Jacob's play where it looked like he got the first down? Did you, were you on the line or did you see how that play happened? Was there any spot on that? Um, I'm not sure right now. I have to go back and look. Yeah. David? Cedric, this was a four hour, 33 minute game and a huge reason of it was just all the bodies on the ground. I mean, there were sometimes you'd line up and someone go down across from you. What, what was that kind of like when y'all were getting ready for play and then there was another body down? Uh, was that kind of frustrating? Um, you know, injuries are part of the game. Um, you know, I don't know, like I said, I just try to go out there and uh, help my team win. Uh, I can't really speak for the people that were going down, but hopefully everything's okay. Ben and then Adam. Just on that last play, obviously the objective is to score, but how were you all trying to score? Was it a pull out, El Mary, everybody get to the end zone, and, and Joe just kind of pop it up, or were y'all running specific routes or anything like that? Uh, it was definitely a concept. Uh, once again, um, I had to go back and look on film to see how it kind of played out. Uh, it didn't play out the way we wanted to, um, but you know, uh, yeah, it just didn't play out the way we wanted to. Just a tough loss and crazy ending. Hendon's hurt, just a lot of injuries. What level of adversity do you think this team is under right now? Um, I think we're under a good amount of adversity, but I don't think it's nothing that we can't uh, overcome. Uh, you know, it was a tough loss, but you know, tomorrow we'll get ready for our next week opponent. So, in the back. How disappointing is it in your fans when they kind of take away from your guys' storyline where you guys put in a fight and came back in this game? Um, you know, I just, I don't really want to comment on that right now, so yeah. Kimmy? Okay. Uh, could you talk about what your responsibility was on the very last play? The one before, you almost caught it. What, yeah. what was your job on the last play? Um, shoot. Try to just get open, man. Like, in a situation like that, when the defense has all those guys backed up, uh, obviously, you know, the routes are going to look clean, so... Really just try to get open and try to get a viewpoint for Joe, but unfortunately it just didn't uh, happen that way. Yeah. Cedric, uh, you guys were obviously uh, down and running back tonight. Jabari Small seemed like he, do, he did everything he, he could do. Do you feel like missing time on Evans had an impact on this offense, uh, being able to open up some more of that passing game and, and get more yards on the ground? Yeah, I think the, you know, I think the running backs did good tonight, but like you said, uh, Tyon is a, a big playmaker for our team. Um, but, you know, Jabari Smalls, Lenise Whitehead, and, uh, you know, other running backs that ran the ball, I think they did a good job. But, uh, you know, um, yeah, it's just unfortunate. Eric? To kind of piggybacking off that, I mean, you look around, uh, half your offensive line was out, you had a couple backs out, um, and there were plenty of times where Ole Miss tried to put you guys away tonight, and you didn't, didn't go away. I mean, mm -hmm. overall, the, uh, as an offense, how proud are you of the, the fight, I guess, that you guys showed tonight? I'm very proud. Uh, you know, we had a lot of people banged up. You know, a lot of people in injuries trying to fight through. Uh, you know, trying to we fought to the bitter end. You know, that's all you can ask for. Um, so you know, I'm proud of my team. Unfortunately, we didn't get the result we wanted, but you know, I think uh, we fought hard, and that's all you can ask for. Got one more time for one more if anyone wants it. All right, thanks, Cedric.